Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry. Hey guys, welcome back to a new um Minecraft. No, just it's it's hard to explain. It's basically an episode. Not really an episode, I guess. I guess you'd call it an episode. But this is basically where we would make stuff and the first part was decorating an outpost and I said in the first part that if if we well well I said in the first thing we would decorate this so that's what we are going to do with a few things actually so you see on the sides those are gonna be for brewing stands so two brewing stands and let's do this one what else we definitely need where is it a map Wait, no, not not a map. Item frames. <laughs> and we also do need a map, too. So, this. So, basically, we're just going to map out the area. So, let's go, like, over here, I guess and map this area out there we go um yes we did include some cuts that was just trying to make it easier so that you guys didn't have to watch every single bit of us decorating so actually we're gonna place this and then the map on it is that looks cool and we are aiming to try and make it look cool and also upgrade it. I left this little space because... What was that sound? You guys heard that, right? It couldn't just be me. And I'm not the one who does like stuff like that. Oh yeah, what does the point of doing? What is the point of making that? Um, we're just gonna destroy those. Luckily, we have the block in our inventory. So, there and there we go. Um, now it looks a little bit better. But up here, this is basically defenses. And then up here is just trying to make it look cool. Then up here, I don't really know what to add. Um, here, I have an idea. Um, which one is it? I think it's Seek. Yep. If you don't know what that sound is, go and do, do a raid. Then you'll see. Um, how about we put some totems of undying up here? Yeah, we're not gonna decorate that one, but this, this, then this, 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 and this. Here, how about we just get rid of the stuff there? Whoops! Um,. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that stuff. You can tell that these are the correct spots because I put um, a different kind of bamboo under them instead of the normal looking bamboo. As you can see, not with that one, but with this one, there's pillars going down into 
the second and first levels. I thought it would just look cool. But this area is sort of like the research station. Then where we go up, I think this room, it's kind of empty. We'll do that today, most likely. I'm not trying to aim for like a third decorating a pillager outpost video. Or, well, we didn't include decorate. Well, we didn't include, um, no, that doesn't look too good. We didn't include, like, Eh. We didn't include it. um pillager. Sorry, I was trying to think of the word there. I I'll most likely just cut it out. Yeah, I just want to make this pillager outpost look a little bit better. So, like, under each of these, um... Like, under each of these little pillars, I am gonna put, like, this stuff, because I think it would look cool. Here, how about we just connect those and connect these? Might as well, right? But so far, this is the outside of the pillager outpost. So many people take the villager side of things. Which, yeah, it's reasonable. But, like... I think... Upgrading these is really cool. And also, we don't really need the stuff. There, um... This one, it'll be like a little bulked out. And... Here, how about for this... You just do this, and then... There. Um, there. And over here, we're just gonna add that. I think that design looks pretty cool, but we're not gonna copy it on every single one. So that's why I'm just gonna place these as, like rims then I'm just gonna put these sort of like they're being connected I I want to make like a little wall kind of thing yes I do like putting a whole lot of detail into my builds um, we don't want to put that there there we go now the only entryway is this way, which we're gonna block off with using some bamboo and pillars. We're gonna block it off. Not some fence. Um, let's see. So it was this. So I like copying designs. There there and then it was like this right yep but we still have to fill in this area which I'm just gonna fill in with cherry planks this pillager outpost I would say on the inside is looking very good <laughs> to to say the least so this I guess since it's the only one we can fill it in and great now this floor I plan for it to be I don't really plan it to be anything 
Here, how about we, um, Fun fact, we can actually, uh, um, yeah, let's just replace that for a little bit. I hope people, I hope pillagers, oh, well, two are gonna have to be gone, actually. There we go. Um, I did make a bits thing using the share factory thing, and it is really cool. There. And there, we have the thing finished. But I'm not really gonna put like detail into like this sort of thing. I'm just gonna put one like that and there. We might as well just scatter some of this around. Might as well connect it together. Um, then we need to cover that up too. We don't want any attackers getting in, right? Hey, there are torches up here. Also, I've watched some Lego videos today, and I'm wondering what is with the Lego cake, right? Like, it's circle. Yes, I know the item thing is circle, but like, no. Whenever placed down, it's clearly a square. But they're like, no. I mean, they did fix it, which I'm glad they did, which that was a very needed change. There we go. This is sort of gonna be like a hub for the pillagers I plan. Maybe that might be the third episode, but like I said, I don't want a third episode. Oh yeah, um, we're just doing two videos in the same day. Don't worry about it. I know that I said it would be random. I did set alarm for each of those. Now let's see how this will hub looks outside. I would say it looks pretty good. There. And there. And this little hub. Oh, that is good. How about we make this like their storage room? Because, you know, they already have chests here, so... Yeah, why not? So, I think the smooth stone slabs look really good here. You know, it would sort of fit the theme with all this stuff. And there. We're sort of making this like a woodland mansion. Oh. That is definitely not good. Eh, I'm not thinking about that. No, I guess we can't use shelves besides here. So we might as well just copy the same design that we have going on here. There we go. This storage room looks a lot better. Here, how about we even put some pots holding the lanterns? And most of it is finished. This is gonna be like their planning room. can't actually put anything there, so we're gonna replace them with 
that, and then, you know. Okay, how about we actually make that, like, planned, because that actually looks pretty good. I made a bit using a pillager that fell off somewhere. Hmm. Um, nothing is actually in here. So... Here, how about... I have the perfect idea. Please tell me there is, um, yes, save me. Because what we're going to make right here is a target post. You know, we're we're upgrading it. Yes, they do have target posts, but try and guess what we are going to make here with everything in my inventory. Spruce fence, packed mud, and mud brick slab. And I'm not going to say it until we build it. So let's just start game build. Let's just start building guess right here oh that looks good So, I have a plan to make kind of like And if we get, say, a crossbow and shoot this, it should give off, yep, a redstone signal. We have to connect it to the front, don't we?
Yeah, we don't really want those connecting. Yeah, the rest of them just gonna have to be exposed. But we did make a target range for them. I'm not going to. If you're wondering how to make them in survival, all you have to do is get a spruce fence. I highly recommend a spruce one. A target, two more spruce fences, and packed mud. There you go. You have yourself a villager trading guy. So, now, and then here, since we already have it, we are going to be making something. You'll see. You'll see. Just try and guess. I'm still working on getting some of the resources, but just try and guess. There. There. No, it doesn't really fit. So how about we get some kind of wool? Still, I need to try and guess. Um. Okay, I was just testing something. No sandstone. That one really work. Where is the wool? Hmm. There it is. But, like, where is it? And, ah, oh, man. So, we're most likely gonna get, make it this big and this high. This ain't your cage, go! Out, out. There. Max zombie villager, Ravender. This is the one that we're looking for. Can Fit like a max of two Ravengers, I guess. We also do streams on Twitch, just to let you guys know. Um, it is of we don't really do streams that often, but whenever you guys, whenever we do streams, um, I don't know our name, but like, you can come and come with us. We don't get that many people, so, you know, you guys can, who, if we're doing a stream, Whenever this comes out, which, no, we are not doing a stream right now, though we may be doing it sometime, I don't know when exactly, so, yeah. Hmm. But we also need glowstone. And great. 
Alright. I... Eh, it's fine. It lights up the place. That's... That's fine. Um... What? This is most likely the last, or the second to last final thing that we will be adding until... Wait, I had black wool in my inventory. Even a pillager is all the way out there, so it's all the way over here, so no. And there we go. The place should be finished. Almost. We're just gonna, no. We're gonna add a few pots outside, wait. I almost thought that that was a spider drop. Those two, this and this. This will be our second to last thing. Sorry, I just I'm building. I'm not used to.
there. And this very last thing that I want to add is kind of like a market. Just a tiny, tiny market. Not really anything, so. There. And I think that completes our area. But there is a few things that I want to add. First is. A villager. Some pillagers. And one evoker. And my, as well as some vindicators. Garden, guarding. Those, and then at the very top of the main outpost. I put four of these. And an evoker at the top level. Three pillagers. Okay. Oh, one has an enchanted crossbow. Yeah. Um, see you guys later.